Wagwan Viazan Subs, welcome back to class. Thank you for tuning in. In today's video, I want to teach you guys exactly how to get your silver cars or any cars prepped for paint. So there was some minor damage in this area. We got it repaired and got it primed. So now it's time to get it ready to enter into the paint booth. Here's everything that you're going to need to get the prepping going. So because we have some primer there we have some 400 with a hard black we're gonna block down the primer and then refine it with 600 800 and scuff the edges with a scuff pad of course you need your mask and you need your phone and a speaker to get some music going as you sand the tape is gonna protect everything that you don't want to sand All right guys, now once you're blocking down your primer, you want it to look like this, right? You don't want it to look grainy. And I'll sand this other part down and show you exactly how you don't want it to look. Now you see here guys, this is what you cannot do. You cannot say that you get the panel prepped and it still looks like this. That is simply not going to work. You're gonna see all that imperfection as soon as you start to paint. So you want it to look nice and smooth and try not to burn it. Sometimes you do, it's not a big deal, but do your best not to. Once you're done blocking the primer, you can go ahead and start sanding it down with 400. This is refining the 400 scratches with 400. The reason being is because when you hand sand, right, the scratches are a lot rougher than when you use the DA. So I'm refining the 400 with 400 on the DA. Now after that's done, then I'm gonna start refining with 600 and 800. And there it is guys, I'm all done with the prepping. All done here. This is what you want your prepping to look like. And you have to clean it up, clean it off, wash it off. You can use the greaser if you need to. And once you're done, it needs to look like this. You need to get it clean before. Like, for example, you're a prepper in the shop and you finish prepping the car. And then before you give it to the painter, you want to go ahead and wash it down, blow it off, clean it up, make sure that it looks good before you give it to the painter because he's going to see every imperfection that's going to happen once you start to paint. What I like to do with my helpers, I like to have them paint, even if they can't paint. I want them to paint and just to see, right, after they prep something, exactly what's going to happen when you put the paint on the car or the clear and that way they can have a better understanding of what they need to do before they decide that they're done prepping the car now we have the car prepped we got it clean and it's all masked up and it's ready to go right ready for paint so i'm going to show you what you're going to need in this next step 
to help you with that blend in such a tight space i have my paint mixed up here the color code is 1l2 and what i'm using in my paint is extra slow reducer and i'm also going to be needing um that blending additive i'm gonna be using the dv1 as this gun you don't need that higher for pressure so you can keep it nice and tight and this gun is very good one of the best when it comes to metallic i can never go wrong with the dv1 here's where this gets interesting i have a small area in here to paint and a small room left for blending to make sure that the color match the rear door here now use this body line here as a guide nothing's wrong with anything up here right and you still have a little room here to play with so there is no need to paint like this and go all the way up here you keep it down here that way you have a very high chance of success with this blend let's get to it so i have the gun set at 14 psi So the first thing I did was I get some coverage in the area that I have my repairs and notice I didn't use the blending additive so what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna let this dry or let it flash for about 10 minutes and then I'm gonna come again and tack it down and rub some um, and then spray my blending additive and then start to blending it again Here we are guys, we're at the stage where it's time to get the clear going. And you saw the steps that I took to make sure I get my, my blend to look this good. Now I know, you know, it, it comes with experience and you have to know how to paint, but not necessarily. Painting a whole car and, paint and blending is two completely different things. I knew how to paint long before I got to Acura, but I did not know how to blend. I, I didn't have that mastered. So this part of the job takes a lot more time and effort and a lot more skill, right? Because you're creating an illusion for people to, to think or even yourself believe that the color actually matches. It's two different colors, two different shades but because they're blended in so perfectly you'll never know unless it's not blended good so a good prep um your technique um the reducer your blending additive so that right there you follow that procedure with these um tough blends you'll be fine
there it is guys the end result of this difficult blend in such a small area with little to no room to blend but with good techniques in mario's teaching you'll get a hang of this too it looks beautiful you can clearly see that my color matches no problems at all clear coat finish came out really good see a couple dirt nibs nothing a buff can't fix looks really good and that's it for today's video guys thank you for watching if you're new here consider subscribing to the channel there's a lot to learn over here like share and comment let me know what your thoughts are and until next time class dismissed